looking at the total market cap, we got some levels that we absolutely must keep our eyes on. Uh, this is a weekly time right here. Now, I can tell you from a long from a long term outlook, what you have right now is one of those you know once in a lifetime opportunity. I really want to make sure that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If you ever want to make a lot of money from the market, like these are the times where you have to be a buyer. These are the times where you have to be a buyer if you want to make a lot of money from the market. It's very simple. A lot of investors are going to come in when the market is somewhere up here. When the market is somewhere up here, and that is because, you know, this is during a good, uh, during the good times. Price are moving up. Everybody's making money. And because everybody's making money, psychologically, you are, you are going to, to tend, you know, to think that the market is going to continue to go up forever. And when you reach these levels right here, you know, you are going to start to predict some unrealistic price targets. You're going to start to predict, you know, $4 trillion market cap, a $5 trillion market cap, a $10 trillion market cap. But this is not the right time, you know, to be an investor, you know, especially if you are a long-term investor. When the price is all the way up here, you know, this is not the right time. This is the perfect time to be a trader. Because you can go in and out the market, but the best time to be an investor is to come in when no one else is around, when the market is very boring, when the market is crashing, when no one else wants anything, I mean anything to do with the market, and when the news is mostly bearish. Like These are the times to get into the market in a very, very big way. So if you think about, you know, during this time, if you think about during this time, this was 2018, 2019, and the first half of 2020, like this is exactly where we are right now. You know, if, we, if we look at the current price action, like this is exactly where we are right now. So the people that made the most money, the people that made the most gains in the last bull market are the people that accumulated right here. You know, these are the people that were able to 10x, 20, 50, and even over a hundred X. Like these are the people that was able to achieve that. Now, the people that got in, you know, somewhere around here, these are the people that mostly lost their investments because these are the people that were predicting a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin a two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin and because you got in you know later on in the bull market or when you know with the most gains have already been made when the price continues to go up you, know, you get very very excited and you actually tend you know to invest more money later on in the cycle. And when we do start to crash, you know, you think this is a pullback right here until you realize that, wait a minute, this, is, this was actually a bear market. And because of that, when we get to, you know, these levels right here, you, know, you want to cut your loss. And this is when the market is finally bottoming out, right? So the investors right here are the ones that tend to lose in the market. So if you want to maximize returns, you know, if you want to be the person that is potentially going to, to do a 10x, a 20x, or a 30x, you have to be an investor at this stage in the market. Is this a guarantee that we're not coming back down here? Absolutely not. But if you do get a pullback, this is another opportunity to dollar cost average 
and continue to add on at a very low valuation, a big discount, of course, but considering that we are going from these levels right here, you know, all the way down here, right? So this is the best time. This is the best time to be an investor. And this is the time. This is the time to make, you know, tougher decisions. Uh, this is the time to, you know, to be fearful, right? And take a lot of risk. Knowing that if things, you know, turn around, you're looking at some really, you know, big returns once we start to retest some of these key levels right up here. So long-term outlook, you know, I'm very excited. And I think this is the perfect, you know, this is the perfect storm to any long-term holder. And especially if you don't have thousands and thousands of dollars to deploy in the market, you know, this is the time to take advantage of, you know, sideways, uh, continue to dollar cost average on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, or on a monthly basis. I mean, this is not going to last, you know, for many, many months. You know, I think the worst case scenario is you know if this is the top right here we could potentially see a consolidation for the same length as this right here so if we if we look at what am i trying to bring if we look at this if we look at this right here you know this performance from december if we go from december to the current price uh, this is 243 days. So I think the worst case scenario is another 243 days. And that puts us to sometimes around April, right? I mean, look how, how correlated this is. I mean, that puts us to sometimes around April of 2023, uh, 2024. And that is during the Bitcoin halving. So I think the worst case scenario is a consolidation or a pullback for about 244 days. Now, I, I think that is going to be the worst case scenario. So basically, you know, eight months of, you know, pullbacks, consolidation, uh, sideways price action, and really Bitcoin and the overall cryptocurrency market not doing anything major, you know, anything exciting and just people, you know, giving up in this market. So to me, this is a worst case scenario, right? The same length of a pullback as the first half of 2023. So this is my worst case scenario right here. Right? It takes us all the way into April.